Today we are going to talk about the Rockefeller Plaza skating rink and how to change out the motor with Happy Holidays Parts Repair Kit. Let's get started. The first thing you will notice is that we have the unit out of the box and on the table. It's a very simple unit to repair. The only thing is the base is not removable. So we have already taken our X-Acto knife and cut out the fine film on the bottom of the unit. This unit is very simple to fix. The principle of this unit is the white cord brings in 110, 120 volts into the unit. The step-down transformer reduces the voltage for the lights and also for the sound for the unit. The motor, however, is 110, 120 volt and is wired pre-transformer. As you can see, we've cut out the base. To remove the plate, you will have to loosen the screws around the plate and remove it from the top of the unit. As you can see, it's very simple. One belt, two pulleys. Now this motor here is already been changed out, but we will give you a brief description on how to remove the old motor and put in the new. The white film you see in the unit is the film that skaters run on. Now, we will be using our Happy Holidays Parts kit for this unit. The kit comes with one motor, one screw and lock washer, and two mounting hardware for the motor to remount. This is the film that runs the people on the skating rink. Now, let's splice the wires. I have used the wires from the old motor, which I cut off very close to the motor base. Splice them about quarter to a half an inch. Now, as you can see, this is the base of the unit. Now, to remove the old motor, you will have to drill out the rivets. Once you have the motor out, you can put the new motor in using the hardware that has come with the kit. Let's install the plate back onto the top. Tighten the screws on the motor, but do not over tighten as you do not want to break the plastic. The unit will only go in one way as it will match up with the tabs in the top unit. As you can see, we had it in reverse so the bottom piece will go the opposite way. Once you have the top plate and the bottom plate lined up, put the screws back in. Do not over tighten the screws as you do not want to strip the holes. Now let's reinstall the wires. You can strip the wire about a quarter to a half an inch on the motor side and also on the wires coming out of the marettes. 
Now, we've used the old motor wires because the old marats and the heat shrink tubing are glued to the base, so just to make it easier. Now, some people like to tighten the wires together, solder, and put over heat shrink tubing. Some people like just to marat it and put the heat shrink tubing or electrical tape around the marats. I am going to solder the wires, also put the marats and the heat shrink tubing to make it well secure. These are the marats, this is the heat shrink tubing. Cut the heat shrink tubing about half an inch to a quarter of an inch. That's all you will need. You can get the heat shrink tubing at any general hardware store. Pre-tin your soldering iron tip before you solder the wires, as this will allow the solder to run more smoothly. As you can see, we have put the heat shrink tubing over the marats and have soldered the wires. Now, with a heat shrink gun, heat the heat shrink tubing and shrink the tubing over the marats. If you do not have a heat shrink gun, a hair dryer would be sufficient for this small project. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to hold the wires, as this will get hot using the heat shrink gun. Do not put the heat shrink gun too close to the wires or the heat shrink tubing, or it may melt the coating on the wires or burn the heat shrink tubing itself. Finish up now by putting the screws back on the base of the unit. Now that the screws are back onto the unit, I like to use two tie wraps. One to hold the marettes together and the wires, and if the white cord, which is usually glued to the base of the unit, has come loose, I will use a tie wrap to tie it to the post. This one, as you can see, is secure with the hot glue that they use from the factory. Let's finish up the project. Now, we will turn the base unit over and make sure the unit is running properly. Now, here's a tip of the day. If the unit, the old motor, had overloaded the circuit, it should blow the fuse. Check the fuse if the new motor is not running. You can buy fuses at any local hardware store. Now, see tip, another tip of the day. Clean the top of the unit with a little bit of furniture polish, like Pledge. This will help clean the dust, lubricate the top, and help the skaters skate around freely. Plug the Christmas tree back into the base of the unit. You should see it light up. That means we have power. Now, let's check the skaters. As you can see, the skaters are running smoothly and freely. You have now installed the new motor in your Rockefeller Plaza skating rink. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching our informative video series at Happy Holidays Parts and Repair where the love of Christmas is all year round. 
Thank you for joining us.